So as I do with every series, um, I'm opening this one up with this 996. Uh, I believe this one is a C2. Um, I love this color. It's like a bluish kind of like, yeah, like a purple. I mean, it changes with the light. Uh, this car is absolutely beautiful. There's just something. Oh, and this one is on P car market. So this one's for sale or they purchased it from there. But I believe it might be for sale. I mean, look at this 996. You know, there's just something about the 996 that just rings a bell for me, you know. And I'm not saying it because I own one. The reason why I ended up buying one was because I was in love with 996s. You know, I know it gets a lot of hate. A lot of people say a lot of things. But I mean, I don't care because to me, that was the era of Porsche for me when I was growing up. You know, it was the 996. And regardless of what, I've seen the 991s, I've seen the 993s and all this stuff. But there's just something about a 996 that really rings a bell. And look at the spec on this one. I mean, this one's got the sport seats. Uh, it's hard. It's always hard to see, you know, an interior of a car from from uh an, and also he has the same thing i have where they inspect the steering wheel airbag with um the stitching around it but the color on this car is absolutely amazing i've never seen this color before and it looks to be um a factory option the wheels absolutely amazing so yeah so the steering wheel was stitched um, it was like a custom stitch, which is very rare on a lot of 996s. Very few owners spec that. Um, but this car is just in pristine condition. Absolutely love this car. It's hard for me to capture it the way I want to capture the interior because of the light. But this car is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> I just wanted to do a one little video on this 996. There's so many cars here to see. I mean, you guys could see it's like, but it's mainly a lot of Ferraris and Corvettes, you know, American muscle cars and things like that. Um, not really my cup of tea, but, um, you know, I'll go and bring you guys all the footage from this show. This Carrera 4 is absolutely beautiful. I mean, came in again, it's a good value. You want to step into a Porsche, the great values. Here's a nice Carrera over here. Really nice, simple. Um, I see over here, uh, there goes that GT3 again. Oh my God, that thing is just, oh, I need you in my life. Yeah, so here we are. This is a 911 Carrera. Well, this seems to be just average 911. Um, nothing really special. It's a 991. Uh, wheels are kind of cool. Um, not really much of a spec on this one, but uh, it's, it's a nice one. Nice 993. I mean 991, sorry. Yeah, and look at this little thing right here. So... I think this one was one of those water boat cars or something. No, I don't think this one was. Well, it, it kind of looks like it, but I figured I'd bring you guys this one. It's not a Porsche, but it looks pretty cool. Um, so now we're getting over to like these cars right here. And this is a purple. No, go ahead. It's fine. This is a purple GT3 RS. This lady is going to get in my shot, but that's fine. Um, this is a purple GT3 RS. Um, not, I mean, there's few specs on it. Um, not much carbon fiber here um, like the other one has. Pretty simple. Um, black interior with white stitching. Um, not much carbon fiber here. Um, I mean, pretty nice car. Looks pretty good. I like the color. Uh, GT3 RS, um, you know, beautiful car. I absolutely love these gigantic wheels. I love the decal on the side. The interior is specced really nice, but you guys can't see that right now. It's got the carbon fiber hood, I mean roof like the other one does. Carbon fiber on the mirror, carbon fiber on the sill, carbon fiber uh, hood, nothing here. I love the dashboard as well, the way they, you know, the stitching accents, if you can see that there. The way the stitching goes across, 
and goes down there. Also has the yellow belts on the inside, so that's something to look at. Um, spec'd out the Porsche um, dynamic uh, lighting system. Um, this, absolutely love. Now, I waited for this one. That color is very rare. You don't see this on most Porsches. Nine times out of 10, it's probably a wrap, but um, I'm assuming, judging from looking at it, it might be an original paint. Um, this is uh, 4.0, look at the wheels on this car. I mean, you know, GT3, there's not much more I can say. I'm not gonna be one of those reviewers that are gonna keep going over the car over and over again about the same exact things that, you know, we've seen three or four GT3s already, but this one is very special. You know, again, the color, uh, I spec'd out the Porsche lights. Um, the wheels are fantastic on this car. Um, look at the stitching. This is also similar to the other, um, G, uh, forgot GT3 over there. Yes, GT3. Um, where he has the stitching that goes all the way down, goes all around, as you can see in there. And that's something that you also have to order, especially from Porsche. This is not something that comes with the car. Um, also, if you can see the insides of his car, he has a GT3 stripe going down. Also on the center console, it is specced with the Porsche and the stitching on there. Also on the shift lever, where you see those stripes, those are also special order. Alcantara steering wheel, I'm assuming the roof is also Alcantara, um, has the GT3 on the back there, if you guys could see. They also have the stitching coming all the way around to the back. So this car was definitely highly specced. Um, also has the uh, air scoops on the back. Absolutely. I would say this is probably one, this is, if not, the best looking Porsche in this lot right now in color and also specs and also with the wheels and everything. I also like the way the wheels are done because they're not, you know, they're not kind of in your face, but they're like cool enough, but they're also classy enough to keep the car within the lines of Porsche. So that's a really nice GT3. Cool. Yes, <laughs> I was working my way. I'm like, let me get my way over there. Yes. It's not a wrap. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's oh, not so it's it's yeah, your it's okay. yours. Okay. Okay, guys. So this gentleman just told me that is not a wrap. That is an original paint as I suspected just by looking at it. So it's chalk. Yeah. This is a beautiful color. Um if you remember the guys at RDB, they were doing something with uh Kanye's, I believe um uh, G G63 or G65 whatever, but it was a similar thing, but this car looks absolutely amazing. Now on to this one right here, which is a Targa. And that, the paint, what's the paint on this one? Atlas Grey. Atlas Grey, because I, see, I would have said blue, but I like to ask because people, yeah, no, this car is, I mean, all these cars that are like lined up here, I mean, this, this Targa, it's like just this color. If I can show you guys just the color within here, the way like the light hits it, you know, you wouldn't even imagine. Like, this car is beautiful. Also, once again, what I love about it is, you know, the wheels that are on these cars, they do it tastefully. You know, it's still sporty enough, but it's not overdone. It's not in your face. You know, you could see the, the brake calipers. I mean, the car, it's lowered just right. This is just, I mean, if even when you see the, how the sun hits this paint job, it almost looks purple right now. So let's take a look at the inside. The roof is open, so I'm gonna take a little sneak peek. Uh, black interior, and of course, you can't have a Porsche unless it's manual. And also has a Sport Chrono, as you can see in there. It also has the red, uh, he custom painted the, um, the handle over there to open the doors. Oh wow, then he did, oh look at this shot. This is absolutely the best shot of this car, was just, just this quarter half right here. He's got the four exhaust over there. It's got the Targa four. I mean, this shot, this shot right here is absolutely amazing. That's a beautiful car. Now we're on to the 996 GT2, which um, you guys have saw on the last episode I did. Uh, the yellow one that was in my friend's garage um, has a similar exhaust, this here, which is that four unit. Um, but this is the 996 gt2 and he's got the uh anybody who knows hres those aren't cheap rims those are very specially ordered oh and by the way this this gt2 has 
carbon fiber, you can't see it on film right here, but it's got the carbon fiber wheel, which is, I mean, at the time when this was made, it's very, very rare that people would order this. It's got the carbon fiber console there. It's got some racing seats, not the sport seats, but the racing seats. Also has a carbon fiber on the door sill, on the handlebars, also on the center console. So and at, in 2002, to spec that on a GT2, this car would have been north of 200,000 and change. Um, also, as you can see, the front vent. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to end this video series right here, and I'll pick it up with some other cars as I get to the um, end of the lot.